projects at Grover Middle School uh, include really the idea of opening space for additional team classrooms. So when we look at uh, residential growth and we look at sending patterns, well, when we look at overcrowding concerns we've had at Thomas Grover the last uh, two school years and anticipated growth in the future, we know that we need to create team classrooms for growth. Many of the parents have decided to move to this community for their education. As a school leader, our job is to make sure that the quality remains the same no matter what. Over recent years, as everyone's aware, the community has not exploded, but we have continued to increase in population. And so Grover is not unique in reference to our increase in student population. Over the last two years, we've had about 150 more students join us. And so what that has done is increase our overall class sizes. Um, we do not want to compromise education. This particular referendum brings forward uh, 12 uh, team classrooms and, and um, that allows for each grade level to have one growth class space which would approximately 100 students per grade increase to the facility. It also addresses um, some concerns regarding science spaces. In our current facility there are nine classrooms that have dedicated science classrooms. However, there's 12 classrooms within the building that are for science, which means that we have three classes, three science team teachers that are currently in non-science classrooms, instructing students in the sciences, not in traditional science rooms. So to address that in the referendum, we build six classrooms that are just regular general education classrooms and six brand new science classrooms. We're then able to reallocate classrooms throughout the building so every science team teacher will now be, allowed, be able to have a dedicated science classroom. The big piece is, for me anyway, is that if the students are able to be in classes where the students to staff ratios are smaller, they will have more individualized attention. We have gone up in the last couple of years. Our class size used to be about 23. Uh, we're a little over 27. Um, so for some, it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're one of the three or four students who's not getting that attention of the teacher, it does have an impact. So for me, the students will be able to have more individualized attention. Uh, part of the goal also at the middle level is probably add an additional team and that they will connect with their peers and their teachers. In addition to the growth classroom space there, um, we'll also be adding um, two resource classroom for additional special education program programming, as well as a security vestibule at the main entrance to the facility. It's almost like you, when you have a project at home, it's the same concerns, timeline, cost, um, making sure it's done, the, the quality work is there. So those are the same concerns if it's on a, a bigger scale. So for me, it's making sure that the completion date is, is accurate and that we are complete and ready to open the school doors when they're done. I also don't want us to expand and then be in the same predicament where we are maxed out um, just because there continues to be an increase in people and parents and families moving to the community. Uh, so that's also a concern. When we think of the footprint of Grover Middle School and we think of like where will this go within Grover, as parents think about the bus drop off side, the AM drop off for buses in the morning, there is the end of the hall of the sixth grade and the end of the seventh grade. So this particular addition creates like an L bracket between the sixth and the seventh, thereby creating a connection between existing facilities through existing hallway. So when we look at the map, you can see where the addition in gray will connect the building completely. So the, the work is primarily on the outside of the facility um, once this project's, project gets started. Parents need to know that the goal with the referendum is to continue to make sure that your child is receiving the quality of instruction that you expect. That's the reason why you came to the community, you stayed in the community. Voting for this referendum is important for students, parents, and really community members. For the student, it continues to ensure that they are receiving the quality education that they need and they want and they desire. For the parents, it's to ensure that your investment within the community has some dividends, meaning your child's education. And then for community members, it's to make sure that this community continues to thrive and it's a community that people seek out, not that they avoid.